a regular keto day today. Yes, it is, and I've got some leftovers. I need to make something yummy and delicious for dinner. You guys, I'm dressed for success. I've got a weightlifting session today too. So you guys, come on, let's get this day started. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. You guys, we are still doing the Shape Up and Slim Down for February challenge. Today's a regular day of eating, using your macros, make protein your priority and exercise today. Take a walk, lift some weights and move your body. I am dressed for success, got my vet on. It's a little chilly, but it's gonna be getting up in the high 70s, you guys. So I take a little shirt and then I can take it off. I'm layered and ready to go. Hey, you guys, we had a wonderful time with the family celebrating my birthday, which is tomorrow. Um, yesterday, we did the agency escape room a scenario and we weren't allowed to film inside where we actually did the um, escape room but we were able to film a little bit around it so we're just going to share that right here and a picture of a family You guys, we are at the escape room. Yes, we are in downtown Scottsdale. This is Old Town. And we did the, um, which one, 007? Yes, yeah, the agent. It was the agency. And you come in, you sign in, and you go find your escape room. So you come down this corridor, like Alice in Wonderland. This one is the sub. Mm -hmm. You do a submarine one, you guys. This was our shaken, not stored James Bond 007. We had a secret door we went through. It's really intense. It's really good. Let's mm -hmm. go this way. Then they have another building yes. down the street where it has a bunch of other rooms. Yes. They have two escape rooms on this street alone. And we're in the middle of Old Town on Main Street. Anyway, you guys, we had a ball. We had three minutes to spare, right, Harry? Yep. And um, it's all electronic. They can give you a hint if you want it because they're watching every move you make. But it's pretty intense. I mean, you really have to search and look at everything, don't you, Harry? Including yep. the walls, through the wall paint and all kinds of stuff. So we had a great time. We are gonna go to the Longhorn now. Everybody's on their way there and we are gonna have a nice steak dinner. So you guys, we'll come back in the next segment. Yes, indeed. Then we went to the Longhorn and Harry and I had New York steak. I had the um, Brussels sprouts without the honey uh, butter and Harry had loaded broccoli for his side, right? He had loaded broccoli? Yep. Yeah. And we had a great time, you guys. It was really, really nice. We, uh, the escape room, we escaped with three minutes to spare in the hour that we had. And when you first go in, you're like going, okay, there's not a lot here. How are we gonna figure out a whole scenario, right? But it, it, there was a secret room. We had all kinds of neat stuff. So we really had fun. We really did. And it took all of our efforts uh, to get it done too, didn't it, Harry? Oh yeah. Yeah, we were very busy. How many minutes to spare? Three. Yeah. We had three minutes to spare. And they will give you hints if you want them. You just have to ask because it's all electronic. They've got, they're, they're looking at you in the room and, and doing different things at different times. So it was really fun. I really, really enjoyed that. But you guys, I have, I think what we're going to do, Harry, is have one, one meal today. If that's yeah, okay that's, with no, you. Because really I'm need. still, I'm not hungry at all. I've got my uh, daily, uh, drink here I've got the zesty orange salty I took a um, daily minerals I've got my MSM pure and I'm using a big scoop of it now in here because I'm taking this to the gym you guys so I am going to the gym making sure this is all shook up and 
and I'm going out the door. Harry's uh, going to be working on the computers today, you guys. So um, hopefully I get, he's going to plug my laptop in so that I can get my file for my recipe for my spice cake with cream cheese frosting. Because we need we to transfer that. it all over to your But room. I need to get that done today and pin that to today's video for everybody. But that spice cake is delicious. Yes, it indeed it is. So you guys, I'll see you guys in the next segment. But I've got to go to the gym now. Goodbye. Hey everybody, we are at Safeway. Um, we went and dropped off our early uh, voting ballots right at City Hall, um, not City Hall, at uh, the State Building, yeah, Capitol State Building, mm -hmm. and walk those down. So we're at Safeway, and they have Zevia on sale for $9.99, which is good. It's the only soda pop I drink. This one, because it's uh, taped up, look, and you can do all four. Now I need sparkling water, which I drink all the time. I like grapefruit. Oh, it's the big it's, one. Yeah, it's the big one. I like this grape one I'm having right now. What is that? You want to get some bubbly too? No. Right. We got a plethora of flavors. There we go. Now, what do we want? I need light sour cream. Watch your toes. Sour cream. We should go get some thick bacon this, from here. That's a good idea. Yeah, let's go to the bacon thing. Go this way. I want apple with smoked thick cut bacon. The signature select is on sale. Oh yeah, get that. So I'm gonna get a big one of these. And then a big one of the hickory smoked. There we go. Now, let me take. Huh? I got two of each. Oh yeah, those are big. Safeway finally has egg life wraps, and they have it in the dairy section, and they're on sale for $5.99. So I'm gonna get some of these. And you can freeze egg life wraps, you guys. They freeze really well. So I'm gonna get three. I wanna make, um, Enchiladas, chicken, enchilada verde. And I'm trying to think of, should we do pepper jack cheese? Should we do sharp cheddar? What kind do you want with your sharp cheddar instead of pepper jack? With the chicken one? cheddar we'll do be fine, together yeah. on it mm -hmm. so we've got some of both yep that's what i'm thinking okay is that I think it we're ready yep i think we're ready to go let's go i'm thirsty mm. this is the bubbly sparkling water that is the blackberry it's this one blackberry bubbly Yep. We got raspberry bubbly, we got blood orange, soleil, tangerine, peach soleil, and then grapefruit soleil, which are all sparkling waters. And then our ginger root beer, Zevia. One time I got the grapefruit Zevia and I love it, but I can't find it anywhere. I think we bought it. Did we get that in Benson? Yeah, we didn't get it At here. Walmart? We didn't get it here. Yeah, so. I don't know where we found it, but you guys, we went and dropped off our uh, Ballot. ballots. So we got that done, but uh, they have the thick wood, the thick cut Applewood Smoke Signature Select on sale. Yes, they do for $15.99 a pack. So yeah, I'm very excited about it. So I love the applewood and I like the hickory smoked. Now I've got some recipes in mind over the next couple weeks. I got a extra sharp white cheddar cheese and pepper jack cheese because I want to make some roasted salsa verde chicken enchiladas. 
one of the days. Yes, I do. And this kind of sounds good for um, a chicken or even pork. It's cilantro, lime, a salsa cremosa, right? I uh, got some organic red enchilada sauce. You, know, you do pretty good for speaking in my native tongue. What is that? Food? Yes. <laughs> Food tongue? <laughs> Yep, the I, language of food. I love curry. I love chicken curry, and Harry's a good sport. He's not, uh, that's not his favorite because of the coconut milk. But I got some coconut milk and some red curry because I want to make some curry one of these days, right? Well, here's the deal. Sometimes you got to let your wives have what they want. So wives? They, Do you have more than so one? So they feel like they're, they're, you know, involved in the decision making. I am the decision maker in the food department on what I make, is what I said. You can think you're a decision so maker. She thinks. No, I ask you nicely, right? I lead her in that direction and then oh, she okay. asks me. See, yeah, this is how leads, it all he leads out. me in that direction. Right. Yep. Yep. So I cook. No, it doesn't <laughs> happen that way, folks. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah. No, no, no. no. Uh -huh. Anyway, got some more sriracha sauce. Um, try to get it without any MSG in it. And this one doesn't have any MSG in it. Huh, it's getting hard to find stuff with all the hidden crap they're putting in stuff nowadays. Just do the best you can. But anyway, so I've got some curry that I'm going to make. I've got some different things that I'm going to make with my sauces and all the meat that I have in my refrigerator. Oh, Harry. Mm -hmm. Where's the egg life wraps? You brought them in. No, I did not. Can you go in the car and see if they went under the seat? Well, they might have went underneath the seat. Okay, hold please. What do you got, Sal? Chicken? I got chicken! Oh, it's so good. Good girl, yeah! After you lock me outside. What? Oh! Ooh. Lock me outside. What? That's it, I'm done. I'm going to the other room. I'm going to lay down. No, she wants a drink. It's our new little bowl. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. You feeling better now? Goodness sake. Hey, I got way too hot. I know, honey. I'm so sorry. You're so cute. Forget about me outside. I tell you what. That's the last time I'm going to trust you guys. <laughs> Lock me outside. <laughs> Okay, I got to tell the story now, Sal. Is that okay? Can I tell the story what happened? Tell whatever you want, Mom. You still locked me outside. <laughs> I did. Looking at everything, I realized, where's my light sour cream? And where's the egg fly wraps, Harry? Oh, so she's going to blame it on me. He now. was the cart loader at the counter because the lady kindly opened up that uh, register uh, because there were so many people in line. So here's this talk and he's loading the stuff, putting it all in the car and everything. We bring it all in, do everything. And then I'm like, where's my egg life wraps, right? Because I was going to tell you I was going to make the enchiladas with the egg life wraps and they have the egg life wraps. Now it's Safeway. It's in the cheese area where the yogurt and the cheese are. I'm going to go lay down. Okay, honey. And I said, oh, shoot, we, we must have left it. Harry looked under the seats, and I said, we must have left them on the register, so we need to go back. Sally had gone outside to sun herself because it's beautiful outside. And I went and closed all of our, for those of you who don't know, we have metal roll-down doors that close when we're gone. And you can show it right here, Harry, and I'll, I'll, I'll close this one. I mean, it could be daylight as you know what outside, and it's dark in here. They're great for people that work swing or graveyard and want to sleep at night. So, yep. There you go. Pretty cool. All right. 
so Harry has, we have a little dog ramp Harry made for Sally to come in and such. And I just went, pulled up the ramp, closed the door, we left. And then it was like, Sally always sits and waits on her little spot. On the couch. On the couch. Here, you can show her over here. She's not there, is she? Yes, she is. She's on her couch. Oh, well, she's there. She's where she belongs. She's such a good. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Hello. What do you want? I just wanted to share with everybody where you normally sit every day on your couch bed. I'm not looking at you because you locked me outside. I did, and I am so sorry. Do you forgive me? Oh, okay. Come on. There, I'm opening the window. Windows up. Okay. Yeah, windows it can be. Up. We have enough shade in the backyard that Sally would have been uncomfortable, but she could have laid in the cool cement mm -hmm. and she would have been fine, but she just was upset. You guys, something I want to share that my kids did for me too is they did a birthday times. Wendy Warnshinsky was is born, and it gives everything that happened on right the on the day I was born. So that was really cool. I really liked that. So the average price of a new home is now ten thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. An annual household income is three thousand seven hundred and fifty five dollars annual income. Other prices for 1954, a gallon of gas was 29 cents, a loaf of bread was 19 cents, gallon of milk was expensive, it was 92 cents, movie tickets were 45 cents, and home rent, to, to rent a home, $54 a month. So a lot has happened since I was born, but I thought that was really cute and nice of the kids to do for me. So. What was that year? 1902? 19, 1954. <laughs> Just because you're younger than me, sir. Yeah, I was born Just, 55, so ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's right. That's you right. were. Anyway, you guys, I found my egg light, and we went to customer service, and the girl had just taken him back and put him in stock, so they got him back out for us. I said, I... I said, I left a sack here. It had two Daisy Light sour creams. And he goes, and three egg white wraps. And I said, exactly. <laughs> so they went and got them for us. So we've got them. And the dog is fine and everybody's fine. She may be pouty pup, but she is fine. Anyway, you guys, now I'm going to put this away. And trust me, uh, Safeway is three major city blocks away. So it's not far. We, we haven't been gone that far. Well, no, 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 I have done run. I want to put all this away because we need to eat. We have not eaten today. We had coffee this morning. Is that the problem? Yes, that's the problem. We have not eaten a meal. Oh. So I'm going to make something super delicious with what I have in my refrigerator. Come back in the next segment and I'll share what we're having to break our fast and for our main meal today. Ah, now I know why I'm so weak. Oh, is it getting dark? Yes. <laughs> I'm making stroganoff, beef stroganoff to be exact. I'm using my second uh, part of this uh, sliced grass-fed beef sirloin that's already cooked. It's prepared and it's sliced, but it's sliced in long slices. So Great. I'm going to have to- got it at Costco. Got it at Costco and we love it. It's delicious. I've got some healthy noodles. We got this at Costco as well. It's their sugar-free, fat-free, gluten-free, cholesterol-free, and dairy-free, and they're delicious. Yep. And they're ready to use. So uh, they're zero fat. Total carbohydrate is six, but dietary fibers are six. So basically, they're zero and zero. Now these are made with the konjac powder, which the konjac root is a, a Japanese yam shirataki noodles are made from. So I'm very excited. So it's going to be super easy, super delicious, super simple. I'm going to put on gloves because I'm going to be cutting the meat into bite-sized pieces right into my pan. Uh, the meat is already cooked. So basically we're going to put the meat in with its own broth. I am using cream of mushroom soup from Keto Chow. 
and I'm going to use a cup of water with it. If you don't have, if you can't get, if you don't want to use the cream of mushroom, you can use heavy cream and add your own seasonings to make your own. But I'm doing this quick, easy, simple, nutritious and delicious. So I'm using my cream of mushroom and I'm just doing it super easy. A super, super duper easy recipe, you guys. Uh, it's going to basically be the meat, the keto chow cream of mushroom, some sour cream and Worcestershire sauce on top of some healthy noodles and probably some salt. Because we are salty people and I'm going to use the Arr. organic seasoned salt I'm by Redmond salty. and I'm probably going to put some garlic zesty garlic because I love garlic in mine. You guys can make yours any way you want to, but I'm going to put some pluck zesty garlic in order to get the organ meat into this. This also comes with onion, garlic, lemon peel, redmond, real salt, carrot, parsley, leaf, oregano leaf, majorum, basil leaf, and thyme leaf, and they're all organic. Organic and then grass fed. So let me get a big spoon. I can't believe we did that poor little Sally. She's so upset. <laughs> she is. I freaked out. I'm like, oh my gosh, I locked my baby out. I know, we never did that before. Never have done that before. And thank goodness it wasn't the heat of summer and we will double check next time on where the puppy is. I think it's because it's one of, she has not been going out lately because it's been too cold, right? Mm -hmm. And it's been overcast. And here today was a perfect day for her to do that. I even suggested she go outside. <laughs> I know. Uh, poor puppy. Let me put this in the sack here. That smells good. You can make it with a uh, pot roast with any of the uh, um, roasts that are out there, right? Um, you can uh, make it with hamburger, like hamburger. I used to make mine with, with uh, inexpensive hamburger growing up when the kids were growing up. And, uh, but this meat is gonna be just as good. It's gonna be delicious, actually. It's really, you can have a leftover steak. You know, whatever meat you have, beef is usually what it's made from. And uh, ground beef, ground bison, ground buffalo, you can make elk stroganoff. You can make deer stroganoff. Um, I just think it just needs a hearty, delicious meat. Meat base with a gravy. Uh, you can, if you don't have the mushroom, you can use um, mushroom broth. If you don't care for mushroom and the taste of mushrooms, use a beef broth, right? So uh, it's however you, whatever you like to put in yours, which is the nice thing about it. There's no right or wrong, it's just what you want in yours based on your likes, your tastes. Uh, I would add mushrooms if I had some. I'd put some in here, I'd put a small can of mushrooms in there because we like mushrooms, don't we Harry? Yep. Well, certain kinds. Right, you don't like the big, he hates the big Bella mushrooms that we used to stuff well, and God, uh, eat instead of hamburger patties. <laughs> yeah, he did not like that. Uh -huh. Not at all. He's, uh, we like baby Bella shrooms, but not uh, the, big, the big daddies, those big, big pieces. He does mm -hmm. not like at all. And he doesn't like the ones that are big and rubbery. Well, yeah, uh, no. It's a texture thing for me. Yes, it is. For all foods, a lot of, lot of you texture. You like button mushrooms, which would be fine in here, you know, mm -hmm. little button mushrooms. Let me put this over here. I'm going to go through and un unroll my pieces so we've got them all sliced up. And since these are already cooked, we're basically just warming this dish and marrying the sauces mm -hmm. more than anything else. What are you making, Mama? I am making roast beef. You want a piece of roast beef? Yeah, I want a piece of roast beef. Where's okay. She? I can hear her. There she is. Okay. There you go. Mm. Roast beast. Beef. Roast beast. 
Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, it tastes good. Roast beef. Okay, I'm glad you like roast beef. Can I have another piece of roast beef? Not right now. How about you have some on your plate for after dinner? Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. We feel guilty. One more slice. What? One more piece. One more. One more. One more. Oh, I get one more? Oh, yeah. That tastes really good. I'm glad, honey. Harry, can you give me her little plate to put some of this on? What is it? It's in the cupboard. Talking about this plate. Uh huh. Talking about that plate. This this is uh, Sally's little plate. Right there. This has got pepper and stuff on it, so I want to be careful and give her yeah. the middle piece part. So there you go. There you have it. I'm going to take off my gloves because I don't need them anymore. I have a cup of hot water heated and uh, I'm going to get that in just a minute after I get this seared and started. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, pluck zesty garlic in with mine. I'm going to put some Redmond salt. Oh. The organic seasoned salt. Love it. We've got 15% discount for all Redmond products. Don't forget, you guys. Down in the description below, always. Oh, yeah, man. They make great salt. Yes, they do. They make great everything. I love it. So let me get a spoon. What? And stir what a up? spoon and stirring the meat mixture up. The meat with the sauces. Yep. Want to heat that up. Harry, you're so cute. Oh. How's everybody doing today? How do you make your stroganoff? What is your easy way of making it? Did you make it like ground hamburger? Did you make it with a can of cream of mushroom soup like I did growing up and then add sour cream, a little Worcestershire sauce and a beef bouillon cube or two to get the beefiness? How did you make yours? How did your family like yours made? Let me know down in the description below. Did you cube like steaks? Did you buy like a big roast and chop it into hunks and, and brown it first, you know? Inquiry minds want What's to know. What's it called? Beef stroganoff. Oh, my mom used to make it from a package. Right. It's called hamburger helper. Yeah. Beef stroganoff. So, yeah, you're right. It went to package. So, <sighs> I want to get the beef hot because then I want to get the mushroom gravy going. Then I'm going to add everything and then we're going to let it simmer. So I'm waiting just to get my beef up and running. And then I'll show the next part. Okay, I have hot water. Excuse me, Harry, come around. I have a uh, container of one cup of hot water that I'm gonna put in here. And I'm going to put in Cream of mushroom soup, keto chow style. If you don't have, if you don't want, if you can't get, then you can do an alternative um, cream of mushroom soup. You can put a can of mushrooms in it. You can buy mushroom broth at all the Whole Foods and Sprouts have it because a lot of vegans use mushroom broth. You can use... Um, uh, beef broth if you don't even want to add mushrooms. Some people don't care for mushrooms. I love the taste of the mushrooms. I think it gives it a nice depth of flavor. Look at that, you guys. That just did so nice. Now I'm going to add... It smells great. I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce. This is something I like. I'm going to add a tablespoon. I'm going to add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Stir that up. I just found, look at that, that makes a browner gravy. Just makes a really nice gravy. And I'm gonna turn my heat down. I'm gonna rinse my spoon off because I need some sour cream. I'm gonna put in the sour cream. Mix this up, probably um, half a cup of sour cream. Actually, I'm going to use this whole sour cream here. 
You guys can measure yours. I just like the creamy texture and taste of sour cream, uh, more or less oh, yeah. to taste. You do for you. I would say I used about three quarters of a cup of sour cream because this only had uh, 16 ounces of it in it in there total, and I've been using it for about a week now. So here, let me get that. And of course, we'll be doing a taste test here in just a minute on the sauce to see if it needs anything else in it. You can chop up onions, you can use onion powder, garlic, like I said. Um, but this is super easy, super simple, super delicious. Let me get, um, let me rinse the spoon off. Let me taste it. Oh, oh yeah. Good? Oh yeah. It's done. Oh, that is so good. I know. That is like, it's scary simple. Yeah. That's easier than Hamburger Helper was because you had to, you had to cook the noodles. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So speaking of noodles, I'll bring this over. So I had the noodles, I strained them, drained them and put them in hot, hot water. So they're already heated. You don't need to cook them because they're pre-cooked. You just need to warm them up. So we are ready. I mean, we're ready to go, you guys. So come back in just a minute and we will plate and we will do a taste test for everybody. So come back in the next segment. Let me put these things away and then we will eat our beef stroganoff. Yes, indeed. So Harry doesn't like long noodles. So I'm just taking my knife, I mean my scissors, and just going through. These are clean scissors. Putting them through and just chopping them up a little bit smaller. I used to use egg noodles in my, um, in my uh, stroganoff. Did you guys, what noodles did you use? Fettuccine noodles? Did you use egg noodles? Which kind of noodles did you guys use? And I'm just putting them right in. We're going to stir it up. Then we're going to serve it. Got plenty of gravy. Oh man, you guys, this looks so good, doesn't it, Harry? Oh yeah, it smells fabulous. Oh, I was amazed at how that uh, mushroom soup was just like my... I want to have a little hot, little, like, little, uh, well, yeah, you teamed, can. you know... Jalapenos How about some Louisiana hot sauce on top yeah, when you're all too. ready to go? Yeah. There you go. There you have it. We're ready to plate. that bugs me about some of the keto, some of the, the, the people I watch that cook on the channel, on their thumbnail, they're not showing the product they're actually making. They're, they're showing like a, a beautiful cinnamon roll. It's, it's professionally done. It's dripping with stuff. And then they make the cinnamon roll, right? And they show it to you. Looks nothing like the picture. I always show you guys exactly what I made on my picture. I feel that, um, I feel that, we're comfort food, it's, we're not professional chefs, and it's important not to show you something that's not real, that we are not eating, that's made from the SAD diet with real, you know, gluten and all the sugar and all the things versus a keto version. I like to share with you the real keto ice cream, the real keto stroganoff, the real, what we are gonna sit down and eat, but you guys, this is what we are having. It's, it's stroganoff. It's going to be simple, easy, quick, and hearty, and nutritious. And I'm really excited about this. So you guys, come on. We're going to do a taste test. Yes, indeed. 
What I really like about using the sirloin, the meat that I just used, is it has a lot of seasoning on top. It's got pepper. If you look at the plate closely, there's pepper and all the good stuff on there, but I want to taste a piece of the meat. Mm. It's tender and delicious still. Well, okay, so that was noodles. Mm. Isn't that good? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Now I want to try the noodle with the sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Those noodles are just like egg noodles to me. Without the eggy egginess, the consistency and the texture of them are delicious, you guys. What's that? The meat? Yep. It's got the sauce all over it. Well, yeah. It's nice and tender, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think that's a perfect kind of meat to eat with this. I think it tastes delicious. That's well, great because it's not real super thick, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so too. What about the noodles? I like, well, you know. I like the noodles, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the whole thing around is good. One out of ten. Mm. Give this one like a an eight. Okay. Why an eight? Me preference. My preference, you know. I'm not really into like mushy food. And you don't like uh, uh, sour cream as much either as I do. Right. But. Right. Ooh. Gotta eat now, everybody. Yes, indeed. You guys, we are full, but we have bacon that's almost done that we wanted to have. It's bacon for dessert time. Yes, it is. Come here, little one. Come on, little one. She just had her beef. Yes, she did, didn't you? Yep. Was it good? Oh, it was really good. Oh, okay. Can you help me say good night to everybody? Hey, you guys, please check your subscriptions. Make sure you're subscribed to your favorites, including us, because a lot of people have gotten unsubscribed without knowing it. Make sure you have that little bell uh, hit, and you hit all so that you get notified every time we upload a video. Please remember to like, subscribe, ring that little bell, give us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good night, everyone. Sally wants to say good night. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking a teeny bit of bacon. Ah, oh, I love bacon. We got a dinky winky little bit in here and I'll give you the meat part. Mmm, bacon. Say goodnight. Good night. <laughs> You're so cute.